What's good, you two? It's your boy H Money, aka the Brooklyn Sports Voice. All right, man, this dude right here, Marbez, he's bugging the fight. He said Spence is a hype job. Brooks beat him. Then he's saying Brooks need to beat. Then he's saying um, Earl Spence need to beat Sean Porter. Then come see um, then come see Kell Brooks. First of all, Kell Brooks didn't do nothing since 2014. 2014. See what I said? Brook ain't do shit since 2014. Earl Spence Jr. will beat him. Now, let me get back to um, Spence Jr. and Kell Brooks. First of all, Kell Brooks was a hate job when he fought Sean Porter. Nobody knew who the fuck knew, knew who he was. You didn't even know who he was. You didn't even know who he was. Second of all, Sean Porter <coughs> beat Sean Alexander for that belt. He didn't even beat nobody for the belt. Sean Porter didn't even beat nobody, period, when he fought Kell Brooks. And if you check out Kell Brooks' resume, the only reason Sean Porter gave him that fight because Sean Porter thought he was going to beat him. That's why he gave him the fight. He thought he was going to beat him. <coughs> so he surprised Sean Porter and beat Sean Porter. That's going to happen again. When Kell Brooks fight Earl Spence Jr., Earl Spence Jr. going to beat him. <laughs> then what you going to say? You're going to be on Earl Spence Jr. nutsacks next. This dude going to be on Earl Spence Jr. nutsacks next. <coughs> Talk about Earl Spence Jr. shouldn't fight this guy until he beat such such. Get out of here with the bullshit, man. Check out... um. Kell Brooks' resume before he fought Sean Porter. He didn't deserve not a not a bit of Sean Porter fights. God bless the day he fought this dude, um, Ernie Smith, three times. The dude been knocked out more times than he won fights, and your boy Kell Brooks can't even knock him out. I don't want to hear the bullshit, man. Earl Smith Jr. will beat the shit out of Kell Brooks. Body shot, head shot, whatever. He can fight. The kid is real precise with his punches. He don't waste punches. So, all that hype job shit, man, cut it out, man. The only reason Kell Brooks is fighting Triple G is because he'd rather get knocked out by Triple G and take a loss by Triple G. It won't be more embarrassing if he loses to somebody in his own division. So if he loses to somebody out the division, it won't be more embarrassing if he loses to somebody in the division. That's the only reason he took the Triple G fight and he's not trying to fight nobody in his division. Because if he loses to Jesse Vargas, he going to look bad. If he loses to Earl Spence Jr., a hype job that you call him, he going to look bad. If he loses to Keith Thurman, he going to look bad. But if he lose the Triple G, he's not going to look bad because he went up to 160 and got knocked out by the, by the best dude in the division. That's the only reason why Kell Brooks is fighting at 160. It's a win-win situation. If he lose, who gives a fuck because he's supposed to lose? If he win, everybody like, wow, he won. So he's in a win-win situation. fuck is you talking about, bro? He moving on to bigger, better things. Nobody will, No, they want to fight him. He just don't want to lose to nobody at 147 because it's going to look bad on his resume. It's your boy H Money Strata Broker, man. Do subscribe to the channel. Do like the video. Do leave a comment. Y'all motherfuckers is crazy. Peace.